Hello everyone. Today I'm going to guide you how to install the Android VCOM driver on your Windows computer. So first of all go to the description of this video there you will find the link of this driver. You have to download the driver first then you have to extract it on your computer. As you can see I have already downloaded and extracted the driver on my computer. Let's quickly open the folder now in the folder you will be able to see the following files. So in this video I will be guiding you two methods to install these VCOM drivers on your Windows computer. First method is from the setup file. Second method is from the device manager. So let's quickly begin with the first method. In the first method double click on the installed driver.x file. Now as you can see drivers are installed on the computer successfully. Just click on the exit and you are done. Before proceeding to the second method, we have to disable the driver signature enforcement on our computer. Since the, the account driver is not having any digital signature, so for that we have to boot our computer into the troubleshoot menu to boot into the troubleshoot menu. Just right click on the start button and under the shutdown you have to select restart but before clicking on the restart. We have to press and hold the shift button from our keyboard then click on the restart. It will quickly boot our computer into the troubleshoot menu now. Select troubleshoot advanced options. Startup settings. Now click on the restart button. Now we have to choose the seventh option that is disabled driver signature enforcement. We can choose it by pressing the seven button from our keyboard. Now as you can see the computer is restarted. Now everything is done and we are ready to install the VCOM drivers. Now open the driver folder. Now if you run Windows XP then you have to copy the location of this folder. If you run Windows Vista then you have to copy the location of this folder. And if you are in Windows 7 8 8.1 or Windows 10 then we have to copy the location of this folder. Since I'm on Windows 10 so I will be copying the location of this folder by clicking on the address bar. Then right click and copy. Now right click on the start button and select device manager. Now selections. Select add legacy hardware. Now click on the next button. Select install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Then click on the next button again next now click on the have disk button. Now paste the location that you have copied. Then click on the OK button. Now we are ready to install the driver. Since we have already disabled the signature issue. Click on the next button. Now click on the install this software. Now as you can see drivers are installed successfully you don't have to worry about the code 10 issue. Now close the device manager and everything is done. You can restart your computer. Now after restarting the computer you need to connect your MediaTek device to the computer. Thank you for watching the video. Have any questions? Let me know in the comment section below. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And do subscribe to our channel.